Good morning, this is Diane DNF Properties, and today is July 25, 2023, and I wanted to just summarize to you what we learned in our breakfast meeting today. We had a, present, a presenter, Scott Anderson, he's a chief economist from Bank of the West, and he gave us a quick summary on the state of the economy. We all know the Federal Reserve is meeting tomorrow to increase rates, most likely, and that's what is anticipated at a quarter percent rate increase. Uh, he thinks that they're going to continue to increase rates because they're not happy with the inflation that's going on, and inflation is not l lowering as quickly as they would like. So the goal of the Federal of the Federal Reserve is to see interest rates go down to two percent, not um, inflation to go down to two percent, the unemployment rate to go to four point five percent, with about a million jobs lost. Um, they think when we get there that we'll probably see a slowdown in the economy and, and the inflation will go down. Why are we in such high inflation? Well, the Federal Reserve did inject a lot of money into the economy uh, during the pandemic and during uh, the Inflation Protection Act, during the CHIP Act. A lot of this stuff was added into the economy during that time to make the to stimulate the economy. Also, when Sil Silicon Valley Bank imploded, they also injected a lot of money there. The banks are very conservative right now uh, and tightening their guidelines for auto loans and mortgages. So they probably see something in the horizon that we don't. Um, people are still spending, even though they're complaining, they're still spending, and that's the major problem. Until people stop spending, I don't think the Federal Reserve is going to stop um, with their rate increase. Mortgages are probably going to go back up to the 7%. They're just under right now, but we're probably going to see them over 7 uh, in the in the near future. Um, job growth is cooling, but not as much as they'd like. Uh, every Friday, the first Friday of every month, we have the jobs report, and we see about 200,000 job gains. They want to see about 100,000 job gains. So that's a way off from where we are right now. So that's contributing to inflation, inflation pressures, and all that equals to higher rates. There are a lot of um, leading indicators that are indicating that we may go into a recession. Uh, and they're predicting if we do go into recession, probably going to be the end of this year or the beginning of next year, around Christmas time. So um, that is something that could happen. So you got to be in the lookout. It might be a good time for you to watch what you spend um, so that you don't get into too much trouble when, if and when that recession hits. Uh, supply chain pressures are lessening um, and the wholesale prices are going down, but it's not translating to us right now. Uh, we are seeing um, the, the companies uh, paying less for their goods, but they're turning around and still uh, charging us a bundle because they're increasing their profit margins right now. And they're not going to do any of that until people stop spending. When people stop spending and there's less demand for items, you're going to see prices go down. Uh, same thing with real estate. We had a double dip in real estate um, here in the Bay Area. It peaked last year, then it started to go down, and now we're going back up again, and he sees a little dip again sometime in the near future. We don't know when and how much, but he doesn't think it's going to be a drastic amount. He does think the stock market, if we do go into recession, probably will retreat some, maybe 20%, 30 Nobody knows. It depends on how, how bad the recession is. And uh, the P ratios on stock, that's how they value stocks, are really high right now. They're one of the highest times. So stocks are expensive, and uh, there's not a lot of room for people to make money when they're buying stocks right now. So there could be a little bit of a retreat in stock markets. Uh, the, he thinks home prices might go down a little bit in the Bay Area, but not a whole lot again because our inventory is extremely low. So what does all, this all mean to you? Um, if you were – if I were – if I were consulting you, if you were my clients, I probably would advise you, if you have a lot of debt right now, it would be a really good time to consolidate some debt, even if you have a really low interest rate. But if you're carrying, you know, one or $2,000 a month payments on, on credit cards and auto loans and stuff, it might be a good time to take advantage of your equity and reconsolidate those loans and save some money um, so that if a times do get hard, that you're prepared. Um, if you want any more information about the economy, I can tell you as much as I know, or I can direct you in the right direction. If you need any vendors, if you want to get quotes on a loan, if you want to see how much your house is worth, I'm available. You can call me at 408-221-6602. 
or you can email me at dfproperties5000 at gmail.com. I'd be happy to talk to you, or if you just want to call and say hi, I'm here. I love talking to people. Again, I'm Diane DNF Properties, and I am 40 year uh, in real estate, and my license is 00744960. Thank you so much for listening, and we see you next time. Bye.